This is the rocking chair. The rocking chair. When I first met Sarah, um, and we realized that uh, we like one another enough to consider to get engaged. Like most young engaged couples, we'd walk around looking in shop windows and saying, well, when we get married, we'll have that. And, well, when we get married, we'll have that. And, and I'd like that. And chances are remote that you get any of these eventually because you usually put pick the expensive stuff, but we did it. I think all high engaged couples do it. Um, one of our particular fancies was um, in a shop in Glasgow called McDonald's. Um, a bit upmarket they were, and uh, in the window they had the latest Urkel dining room suite. Beautiful, beautiful. Cost a lot of money. Yes, we'll have that. Time goes on and we got married. And um, a couple of years later, Sarah's pregnant and uh, our first son is born. Now, obviously I wanted to do something for Sarah and uh, chocolates and flowers and a card and all this sort of thing. It was something a little more than that. And um, I knew she was uh, coming out of hospital with our fa first son in three days' time. And I went into Glasgow to McDonald's. And I walked in and I said, I. I like that um, rocking chair. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. and they told me the price. I think it was twenty pound. <laughs> About three weeks out of, uh, of my weekly wage. So I said yes, I'll take it, but I, I need HP higher purchase. Fine, no problem at all. And I paid one pound deposit and agreed to pay 20 payments of one pound. Um, I picked it up from the shop the day before Sarah came home. Um, and on the that day I went out and um, I met Sarah and we came home in a taxi um, and walked into the house and there it was sitting in the living room. So Sarah loved it and, uh, and I loved the feeling of having given it to her. Um, Sarah used that rocking chair to sit and nurse our firstborn son, um, sing the lullabies to him as she was rocking backwards and forwards and rocking him to sleep. She'd sit there doing knitting. Our second son was born and he was nursed with the use of the rocking chair and the third son was born and the rocking chair came into use again for nursing the baby off to sleep. I can close my eyes now and my memory takes me back to those days of Sarah nursing. She always sang the same song and I can hear it in my head. Little man, you're crying, I know why you're blue. Someone stole your kitty car away. Time to go to sleep now, little man, you've had a busy day. 
That's a lovely memory. I think we all have some lovely memories if you really think about it. I know I do. Anyway. The Urkel rocking chair stayed in the living room for many years. Sarah would sit in it regularly and I can picture that. It, it, it was nice. Well, the years went by and um, the grandchildren started to come along and the rocking chair went back into service. It was loaned out while the six grandchildren were nursed. But all is returned to us. And Sarah regularly sat out until she passed away eight years ago, 2003. Then I put the rocking chair up into our bedroom and it sat in a corner. It never rocked again. I never sat in it. Until 2011. By then I had a great granddaughter, Lucy. Somehow I'd forgotten about lending it out to Lucy's mum. But Lucy came round to see us every week and she was two years old and she was looking for something to do, you know, two years old. Uh, and I went upstairs and I brought down the rocking chair. Lucy clambered up onto it, sat back and rocked with a smile on her face. It was lovely. I hope that one day in the future, Lucy will be nursing her own, Lucy will be nursing her own child in that same rocking chair. With the spirit of Sarah looking after her and her newborn baby.